What is going on, people of YouTube? It is I, the Warlock here, and with WrestleMania only one day away or one night away, I decided to make this video. Let me set my camera down. Uh, oh, let me just. There we go. Kind of hard to see. Um, I decided to make this video of my WrestleMania predictions. Um. I don't have any special effects, I don't have any good editing software, so I can't, you know, edit words like, like I used to, put words here, pictures there, cutaways, so I'm just gonna just straight on talk. Um, my hair's a bit messy and I don't have my beanie on, because I don't know where the fuck my beanie is, excuse my language. Um, oh wait, no, I do know where it is, it was dirty, because I decided to use it to dust, I, what was it, I was dusting something off, so now it's all dusty, so now I gotta use my flipping small fedora. Anywho guys, let's get to WrestleMania. Got all my things real down right here in my notebook. Oh, what to start off? Well first let me start off with, uh, I think this is like his third time performing for WWE, maybe his fourth time. But we have Kid Rock with the opening for um, WrestleMania 34. It's got his songs, uh, Celebrate, New Orleans, you guys might have already seen that in the commercials. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I, I do like Kid Rock. He's got a couple of good songs. I heard one of his songs. I do like it. I can't remember what, what the flip it was called. But anywho, let's get into the predictions. Uh, first up, I'm going to do the predictions for the Cruiserweight title between Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali. Um, I don't watch the Cruiserweights that much. I mean, last time I watched the Cruiserweight was with Enzo Amore, you know, the Zoe Train, the How You Doing, um... I haven't watched it that much. I heard from a lot of people that Cruiserweights is a lot, is a lot better now. Um, I have seen Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. I do like those two. Definitely like Cedric Alexander because, you know, his uh, finisher, the Lumbar Support, or I think it was Lumbar Check or Lumbar Support, something like that. Uh, but if I had to. If I had to give enough, if I had to give a prediction, I, I think Cedric Alexander would take it. It seems like they might be pushing him. Again, I don't know because I don't watch 205 Live that much because they don't show it on Raw like they used to. Um, but yeah, I think Cedric Alexander was going to take that win. Uh, next up, we have the Triple Threat with Finn, Seth, and The Miz for the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, that one's pretty good. I do like, out of three of them, The Miz is my favorite heel and I do like Finn Balor. Seth, you're, you're, you're a good he's a good wrestler, good superstar, but... I do like Finn and Miz. It's going to be a close call. If Miz Shiraz is going to be on the ringside, I'm thinking... I'm thinking the Miz might take it. I mean, if not the Miz, they could give it to Finn. Uh, maybe... I'm, I'm definitely my, my vote's for the Miz. So let's recap. we got Cedric Alexander uh, is going to take the Cruiserweight title, and Miz is going to retain his Intercontinental Champion. Because he's a good heel, and I like him as Intercontinental Champion. It's just, it, it builds up his heel moment. I mean, if he does lose, you know, it's it's another great heel moment he'll have, you know, the following Monday on Raw. He'll, he'll complain, you know, the odds were against him or something. I don't know. But yeah, Miz is going to retain. So Jake Alexander is going to take the cruise away. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Uh, next up, we got... Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and if they lose, Kevin and uh, yeah, Kevin and Sami are still fired. If they win, they're you know rehired. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm using um a lot. This, I don't know where to put my predictions from because I like Zayn as a vi I like Zayn as a heel. I mean, I like him as a babyface, but he's he's pretty good as a heel. But then again. It's Daniel Bryan's returning match, so they're not going to screw him over with the loss. I mean, my prediction here is here's how it's going to go. Daniel, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon are going to win the WrestleMania match. Owens and Zayn will be fired from SmackDown. But what I think is going to happen is Stephanie McMahon, they're going to go to Raw, basically. They're going to lose the match, they get fired from SmackDown, and then go to Raw. That's that's what I see. Comment below when you got if you guys see WrestleMania, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Um, because I don't have the money, so I can't, you know, afford to see WrestleMania. Oh, uh, next up we got the Bar versus Strowman and his mysterious tag team partner. Uh before I do that, I am going to make my prediction. When it comes to Strowman's new partner, 
Uh, we could have a potential returns. I'm thinking Strowman's partner is either going to be the most logical choice, would either be Samoa Joe or Big Cass. That's that's my thing right there. Um, let me know again in the comments below if I'm right or wrong with all these predictions because like I said, I'm going to be watching this on YouTube when they come out with the clips because I can't I don't watch I can't watch WrestleMania at the moment. I haven't watched the last one last year because tight on money. I'm not on the WWE subscription plan. So usually what I do is I catch the clips on YouTube. But yeah, uh, Showman's Wanda either going to be Big Cass or Shamala Joe, which would be awesome. I would love to see that tag team. Um, and I'm thinking Showman's going to take the tag belts because he's Showman. He deserves to have, you know, he deserves to have some gold. Give, give my man some gold. Hashtag give Showman gold. Well, bronze in this case because the belt's made out of bronze. I don't think it's made out of gold. You know what I mean. Uh, next up we have Alexa versus Nia Jax with the Raw Women's title. Uh, I like Alexa as a heel. Um, I do like Nia Jax now um, as a heel, now a babyface. And with the stuff that's going on and the way they're building up this uh, feud, I'm, I'm going to make my prediction that Nia Jax is going to take the Raw Women's title from Alexa. Uh, so we're going to recap again. Again, sorry for repeating. I'm just recapping for all you people to, you know, remind you of what you missed. Set it out. Zet can't talk today. Cedric Alexander is going to take the cruiserweight. Miz is going to retain his champ, his title. Daniel Bryan and Shane are going to win. Uh, Strowman and the mysterious tag team partner, which is <coughs> Samoa Joe, <coughs> a big cast. They're all going to take their all tag team titles. Uh, Alexa, no not Alexa, Nia Jax is going to take their all woman's title from uh, Alexa. And I looks like I skipped over something. Uh, uh, we have the now fatal four way for the US title Rusev, Bobby Roode versus Orton versus Gender. Now, I don't like Gender very much. I never did either. I mean, he's he's a good heel. I like him as a heel. Oh, my eyes bothering me. Hold on, guys. But yeah, I, I don't. I don't fancy Gender. He's not my favorite superstar. I mean, he's a pretty damn good heel. Never make him babyface. Keep him a heel. Just like The Miz. Never make The Miz babyface. Always keep him a heel. Uh, but what I'm thinking is it's going to be down between Rusev, Rude, or Orton, or Randy Orton, or Rusev. But I'm giving my money on Rusev. Because, come on, Rusev Day. Rusev Day deserves some titles. Uh, and then we got my favorite, I'm going to be sad that I can't see this, is New Day versus Usos versus the Bludgeon Brothers. And a triple threat for the SmackDown Tag Titles. And I'm, I love the Usos. But ever since the Bludgeon Brothers, you know, did the little teaser trailer and the promos and the debut, I just, I felt, I love Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. I love the Bludgeon Brothers. I'm giving it the Bludgeon Brothers can uh, do a complete annihilation and they're going to take the Smack Team to, uh, SmackDown titles. Unless it was to put them on lockdown, but nah. Bludgeon Brothers all the way. Uh, next we got Title vs. Streak, which is Charlotte Flair vs. Asuka, the end Empress of Tomorrow. Now this is a pretty big match. Like I said, it's title versus streak. Oscar's on a uh, what they say it was like 260, a 265 win, zero losses, and that's a lot. I mean, that's more than Taker. Um, but what I'm thinking is they're not gonna end the streak. They didn't end in the mix match challenge. I'm gonna make a video about that because I don't like the mix match challenge. Easy, easily predictable up because they put Charlotte and Oscar in there. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video about the mix match challenge and why I liked it, why I didn't like it, what they could have done to make it better. But anywho, guys, uh, let me uh, my my prediction for Flair versus Oscar. Um, the way they're building up this undefeated streak, and with Charlotte, Oscar's gonna take the win. She's gonna take the title. And she's going to be SmackDown Women's Champion. I don't know how that's going to work though. Because Asuka is on Raw. So she might transfer over to SmackDown. Maybe transfer to Charlotte. You know, make trade. I don't know. Uh, next up we got, let's see. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. The artist. Uh, for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Now, 
This match is uh, another one of my fan favorites. Uh, I do like Shinsuke Nakamura ever since my brother in the mystical arts, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, check out his channel, link in the description below. Um, he got me into Shinsuke Nakamura. I was already a fan of AJ, uh, but I like Nakamura because he introduced me to him. And plus, since he made his debut, because he, he, he had a badass debut. I mean, it was awesome. But I'm giving it to Shinsuke Nakamura. He's going to be your new World Heavyweight title. And that's that's that. That's my prediction. Uh, two more matches. We have Ronda Rousey and Kurt versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Now, this could go either way. Um, my prediction is Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle are going to take the win. Um, because, I mean, it's a first match. You don't... You, you don't want to screw over your new superstar by making him lose the very first match. I mean, WWE has done this in the past, I'm pretty sure. But Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle are going to take it. Um, another way I can see this happening is Jason Jordan is going to make an appearance. And we're going to see a potential heel turn. Heel turn all the way where he's going to be distracting Kurt Angle. Which may cost Kurt and Ronda the, the, uh, uh, the win. But... All the way, I'm going Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle, just all the way. That's that's my prediction. Uh, for the last prediction, we have the Beast in Carnage, the Universal Undisputed. No, how do you say it? No. What was it? Was your? Uh, what did he say? No, your. Wait, my name is Paul Heyman. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, it's going to be Roman Reigns versus the reigning, undisputed, Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. Um, but yeah, so my prediction on Brock versus uh, Roman for the Universal title, it's pretty obvious what they're going to do. I mean, we've all heard, or other people have heard about Brock, you know, he might be leaving WWE going for a UF. UFC, you know, a UFC campaign career, um, so what we're gonna see, and this is my, this ain't a prediction, this is a spoiler, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, spoiler alert, if you don't want the Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns match to, uh, be spoiled, turn it right now, mute the volume until the end of the video, let's get into it, what's going to happen, Roman's gonna get in some good punches, Brock's going to hit him with some suplexes, and he's going to hit him with an F5, one F5. Roman's going to look like, oh, Roman's going to lose. And then what's going to happen? We're going to have Roman, uh, what, what is it, kick out the uh, F5. We're going to have a couple Superman punches, maybe a spear, and then Roman takes the victory, one, two, three, and boom, new Universal Champion. So that's, 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 that's what I know is going to happen. Cause that's what they're building up to. They're gonna, cause they make the F5 like this ultimate finisher. No one can kick out of it. I mean, shoot, look what happened to Strowman. They were trying to build him up. Look what happened to Roman the last WrestleMania. So yeah, that's a spoiler. Roman's going to kick out of the F5. One spear, uh, a couple Superman punches. Why not? And then boom, new Universal title. So we're gonna recap for uh, you know, do my farewells. We got Roman, your new Universal title. Yeah, your new Universal Champion, Ronda and Kurt's going to take the win. Possibly Jason jo Jordan's going to interrupt. Uh, Nakamura, your new World Heavyweight uh, Champion. Oscar's going to take the SmackDown title and possibly be transferred. Not possibly, she will be transferred over to uh, SmackDown. Uh, Bludgeon Brothers are going to decimate Uso and New Day. Nia Jax will take the Raw and Win title. Uh, Rusev is going to be the new US Champion. Uh, Strowman and the new partner and his unknown partner, <coughs> Samoa Joe, <coughs> Big Cass, <coughs> one of them, are going to be the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon are going to win the match. Owen and Zayn will remain fired, but they're going to probably go over to SmackDown. Uh, not SmackDown. They're going to go over to Raw. Miz is going to retain his Intercontinental title. If not, my second guess would be, you know, Finn, but Miz all the way. Uh, and then Cedric Alexander will be the cruiserweight champion and those are my prediction guys so yeah uh for those of you who are gonna watch wrestlemania you know leave a comment and leave a comment below on the sunday or the following day let me know if my predictions were right how right was i how right how wrong was i 
And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to watch my friend Ron Rates. He will be rating the WrestleMania 34, uh, I think he said uh, probably Monday, because he's going to watch it. He's going to watch it tomorrow, the Monday, you're going to see Ron Rates. So check him out, he's a really good dude, he likes to rate all this stuff, he rates movies, TV shows, all this stuff. Um, I'm just promoting him, because you know, I, I want to help out a friend, uh, he was a cool dude in high school, he was always cool to me, and I just want to, you know, shout out his channel and whatnot. But as always guys, I'm the Supreme Warlock, and I'm signing out, and I hope you all enjoy it. Peace.